Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I'm gonna walk you through smoking some venison meat. I actually, this is the second time doing it. I had an awesome video all put together and we were eating it last night and I had to smoke some meat today and I went to watch my own video to remember what spices I used because I got a lot of different spices and I can't find the video. I can't find it anywhere and I was cleaning out files so anyway, we're gonna kind of start over here and we're gonna skip a few stuff, but uh, let me just show you what I'm doing. Okay, here's my smoker. My wife got me this for Christmas. I don't think this is very expensive and this thing works great. And yeah, I'm in the garage because it's five degrees outside and we got snow. Let's just, oh, yum, okay. What I have here is different cuts of venison. You don't have to use the best cuts. I brined the meat for two days, okay? That is key, brine that meat. And in one of my videos, I got basic brine recipe. It's in the how to make an awesome roast. And then I threw some different spices on here. I got the Brazilian steakhouse, that's really good. Brown sugar, uh, I don't think I've tried that one. So we're gonna give that a try. And then I put the bacon on top to just kind of drip down and give it some good flavor. We're gonna put it in here for about two hours on about 200 degrees. I got some water and I'm going to use mesquite smoke. And this is gonna turn out delicious. I'm not kidding, folks. Mouth watering, delicious. Eat it hot, eat it cold. So I'm cooking all this up so I can actually, we got a meat slicer coming so I can turn this into sandwiches. We can eat it whole. Good stuff. Another great way to consume large quantities of deer. The recipe I have for my smoked meat, and this is the brine recipe. Super easy. Two quarts of water, half cup salt, half cup brown sugar. I like putting in a little dried basil, don't have to. And you can double this or triple it depending on how much meat you got. Basically, you just take the water, you bring it to a boil, you add the salt and the brown sugar, and then you let it cool. Okay, when you cut your venison, cut it against the grain. Um, you can soak it for 12 to 24 to 48 hours. The thicker and the bigger the pieces, soak it longer. The only thing is soaking it longer is it's just going to make it that much more tender. If you've cubed it for like chili or something, you can do the 12 hours. As far as the rub, you can use whatever spice you like. I've done Tones Tuscan Garlic. That's turned out really good. In the video you saw, I used a couple different spices. Just experiment. Uh, I've wrapped it in bacon before and then used toothpicks. This time I just laid the bacon across the top and it really didn't make much of a difference. It was a lot easier and quicker to just lay it across the top. Basically, that just gives us some flavoring and puts some fat on it. Um, this time also I did 200 for two hours and it turned out just fine. And you can do the same thing with brats and hot dogs. The kids love hot dogs. You can buy super cheap hot dogs and smoke them for an hour and they taste like, you know, million dollar hot dogs. So anyway, there's the recipe. I'm just gonna show you real quick. This master build, it is so easy. We got a little port up here, okay, to control the amount of smoke. This thing is plug and play. It is a no brainer. It's got a little meat probe, okay? And then to put our smoke in, we got a little thing down here. We just turn this. We pull it out, we put our wood, okay, put our wood chips in here, like that, and boom, voila. I program the time and the temp and it shuts off. Okay, so if you're looking for a smoker, I'm almost positive this wasn't much over $100. You can do so many things with this little smoker.
smoked chicken, smoked venison, smoked beef. It is well worth the money. Let's just check, see how things are going here. Woo. Oh, can you see that? Tell me that doesn't look delicious. All right, better close this up. Okay, we're all done. Let's open it up and take a look. Be a whole lot of smoke. take one out and cut into it just make sure all right I got it all pulled out oh my goodness you can't deny that that looks yummy and I already tasted some and it is delicious now you might be thinking Drew what are you gonna do with all that smoked meat that's a good question I'm going to vacuum seal it while it's hot and then I'll put it once it cools I put it back in the freezer you take it out and you warm it up whenever and it is delicious you can take a meat slicer and slice it up for some awesome sandwiches the nice thing is is it's all done got a ton of it made and I can pull it out in small portions whenever I like okay, we're just gonna put this in my food saver and we're gonna vacuum seal this this will last a really long time in the freezer and you don't have to worry about freezer water. Once the liquid starts going up, you got to hit seal or it won't seal. And there we go. Packaged up, ready to cool off and then go in the freezer. And this will last a really long time. Mm. Hard to put it away, but I already got some in the fridge that's fresh. Okay, and here we're all done. You can see my Food Saver vacuum sealer. Got this on Amazon, this works great. If you don't have one of these, gotta get one for when you cook in bulk. We'll let these cool off, and once they're kind of room temp, toss them in the freezer, and then we've got smoked venison whenever we want. If you haven't checked out my venison roast recipe, you need to. Oh, that looks good. I got spinach down in there, carrots, onions. Eating good tonight. Thanks for joining. Yeah.